Hi, my name is Brian Smith, and in part four of this Rail for Edge video series, I'm going to cover manually rolling back to a previous image. I'm picking up right where I left off in video three. I'm on my Rail for Edge system, which was just updated and rebooted to the new image that starts with 807. If you recall back to the previous videos, the original image starting with CBF had the corn shell, and the updated image starting with 807 removed the corn shell and installed the Z shell. In this example scenario, the corn shell was actually used by a critical script in use on the system, and updating to this new image that doesn't contain the corn shell has caused a major impact to the environment, and I'd like to roll back to the previous image that had been working. So I can manually roll back to the previous image simply by running an RPM OS tree rollback command. After that completes, I'll run a RPM OS tree status again, and you can see that the image starting with CBF has been moved up to the top of the list, so it will be booted by default the next time the system reboots. The asterisk next to the image starting with 807 indicates that this is the image that I'm currently booted from. The rollback doesn't affect the running system, and in order to actually complete the rollback, I'll need to reboot the system. I'll skip the video ahead until it's been rebooted, and then we'll go ahead and connect back to it over SSH. I'll go ahead and run RPM OS tree status again, and you can see that the asterisk, which indicates the currently booted image, is now on the image starting with CBF so I've successfully rolled back the system to the previous image. In the next video, I'll cover how to use Greenboot to automate the rollback process. Well, thanks for watching the video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.